Hey, Senators Weinberg, committee members. My name is Ken Walski. I'm a registered nurse in Armand, New Jersey, practicing in Pennsylvania and New Jersey for the past 35 years. Now I'm executive director of the Coalition for Medical Marijuana in New Jersey. The mission of our organization is to educate the public about the benefits of medical marijuana. Marijuana is a safe, effective, and inexpensive therapeutic agent for a wide variety of diseases and symptoms and conditions. It should be available to anybody who can benefit from it. No patient should suffer needlessly, and no patient should ever go to jail for following the advice of the doctor. The Coalition for Medical Marijuana in New Jersey has submitted to the Health Committee an extensive 20-page comment critique on the revised rules from the Department of Health and Senior Services. CMMJ contends that the people of the state cannot rely on the Department of Health to craft reasonable rules to ensure safe and adequate access to medical marijuana. In its misguided efforts, all the Department of Health has done is ensure that patients will be driven to the illegal drug market. This is exactly opposite to the basic goal of the law. Patients requiring effective marijuana, to which they are entitled to meet under the Act, simply cannot expect to obtain it under these rules. Thus, they must choose, again, between continuing to suffer or the commission of a crime to alleviate their suffering. CMMJ is calling on the New Jersey State Legislature to rewrite these rules to ensure timely access to affordable, medical-grade marijuana to qualified patients in a safe and secure manner. CMMNJ's objections to the revised rules include these rules still regulate ATCs more strictly than full-service pharmacies are regulated, and this is inappropriate. The rules so micromanage these ATCs that none may ever get started. The law calls for a patient registry. It does not require physicians to register in order to certify the patients have a qualifying condition. The physician registration process is unnecessary, outside the scope of the law, and will have a chilling effect on the program. So far, less than one half of 1% of all New Jersey doctors have registered for this program. The patient ID card application is impossible to complete, it requires not only a registered physician, but the name and address of the yet non-existent alternative treatment center, the 10% cap on THC and the limit on marijuana strains is arbitrary, capricious, and inappropriate. The DHSS has said on its website for months that it would allow um, chronic pain, but now it's limiting that to cancer and AIDS patients, and it states that patients must suffer at least until October 13th before they'll even consider accepting petitions to add qualifying conditions. The DHSS says that the facts they find, the Act finds and declares that marijuana has beneficial uses in treating or alleviating pain or other symptoms associated with certain debilitating medical conditions, yet the DHSS continues to require physicians to attest that they have provided education on the lack of the scientific consensus for the use of medical marijuana. And they continue to say that it's a Schedule One drug when they recognize medical uses for it, and, uh, and a Schedule One drug has no accepted medical uses. Thank you very much. Uh, and I know we have your written testimony, too. Yes, we do. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. Uh,